hello everyone welcome to afro news south africa if you are new to this channel please kindly subscribe and share hit on the notification bell so that you would be notified each time we upload a new video thank you all for your support ANC veteran and former Umkonto Military Veterans Association spokesperson Karl Niehaus has set the record straight that he was never in exile just like other MK comrades during the apartheid regime. Many MK veterans were in exile in neighboring countries namely Zambia, Lesotho, Mozambique, Zimbabwe and Tanzania where they received their military training and shelter. But the situation was different for Karl Nehaus, who revealed that he was in the country and waged war against the apartheid regime in the country. He revealed this after critics argued that he is one of the MK veterans who fled the country and went into hiding in neighboring countries when brave citizens stayed back and fought apartheid. Get your facts right. I was never in exile. I opposed apartheid right here inside the country, he said. Today, South Africa is remembering those who were murdered during the Sharpeville massacre of 1960. Karl Niehaus is one of the people who are against the attempt to phase out Sharpeville massacre day by replacing it with the name Human Rights Day. Critics feel this is an attempt to lessen the effect of the massacre of black people by the whites during apartheid regime, hence the decision to call it Human Rights Day instead of calling it the Sharpeville Massacre. The ANC veteran Karl Niehaus argued that there is little right to celebrate on this day as South Africa remains the most unequal country in the world with only a few white people controlling the economy at the expense of black majority living in abject poverty. I prefer to call today Sharpeville Day, not Human Rights Day. I know how we negotiated the decision to call it Human Rights Day, but reality is that we have little human rights to celebrate as long as we live without economic empowerment in the most unequal country in the world, he said. What is your opinion on this? Thanks very much for watching. See you guys in our next video.